Hello. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to another speculation map discussion. Now this speculation map is put out by Horror Night Nightmares and I'll insert it right here. And we want to say thank you to Horror Night Nightmares because they have spoke, we have spoken with them and they are allowing us to put their actual map in our video. Yeah. So thank you. So we know we missed version two because you were in ICU. No, that would explain it. <laughs> <laughs> so it came out back in May. And this version came out around the 4th of July. And so we figured we'd better cover speculation map version number three. So. Okay. Let's get started and we'll start discussing it. Okay. So, we are going to start at the top and go around the circle. <laughs> so are we starting in right New York? Here. Okay. Yep. So the first one that we're going to start with is Stranger Things 4, which definitely makes sense because they have done Stranger Things houses in the past. And Stranger Things always does very very well. It really does. It is one of the longest lines, I think. Mm -hmm. So, next to it is a castle with a flying dragon. I don't know. Is it going to be some... Now, in years past, they've had, like, fairy tale themed houses. Like, the fairy tale's gone wrong. So, I wonder if we're seeing another fairy tale themed Maybe. house come from that. That would make sense. Because... That really doesn't tell you much of anything. It really doesn't. I'm... Fairy tale. Fairy tales. Fairy tale. H H N. I'm googling it right now. I'm trying. Scary tales. Dead um, is what it's been called in the past, and there's been different different ones. So it looks like it was back in Halloween Horror Nights 28. And it was in Soundstage 24. So we may be seeing Same another... Same Soundstage, I believe. I think so. So I think we may be getting another Scary Tales. Could be. That would be really cool. So next to it is what is a confirmed house. This house was confirmed at the end of HHN last year, and it was Chucky. And it's more the TV series than right. it is the original cosplay films. Right. Which I've tried to get into the series. series. But it, yeah. you just haven't really been able to do so. Yeah. So, rounding the corner, we've got this emblem. It's got a C in the center with, like, some... It looks like a ring. It does. That's what I thought, too. It looks like a ring. So, I don't know. I don't even know where to go with that. It could be potentially a coven. Ooh, we have had coven-related houses It could be something Celtic. Let's see. It could be. I... What, you know, it's I mean, it doesn't look Celtic in the design. No, but you know what? It, you know what I automatically thought of when I saw some of the design. Huh. I thought of um, Anna's black dress for the coronation day with the Nor the, the, the the designs on it. It kind of reminds me of that. Is okay, it, something, it could be Nordic. It could be Nordic. That one, I'm very interested to see where it goes. So, continuing on down, we have a guitar with little double horns. This could be anything from another Rob Zombie house. Very true. there's been a bunch of them in the past. Yep. ACDC could be playing this one. I don't know. <laughs> because of the horns and several of the uh, album covers. Could be. And we've had singers-inspired houses and well, or... Well, there was one last year right. with The weekend. Right. It... So... It could be Highway to Hell. It could be, you know, Hell's Bells. It could be something that way related with ACDC. Very true. I like it. Next to it is the other confirmed house as of this video, which is The Last of Us, which is based on a PlayStation game. But I don't know anything about the game. I don't either. We we have a PlayStation 3, <laughs> and we have a Wii U. <laughs> we're, we're really up to date on our video games. <laughs> oh, and we have an Atari, so we're... We're, we're, we're really rolling now, y'all. The next one that's speculated is a Monsters in Paris theme. Now, we've seen Universal Monsters be pretty prevalent in the houses in years past. We've seen them, you know, kind of versus each other. And we've also seen, like, Universal Orlando is, like, one part. And Universal Hollywood is another part. So, we will be discussing the... A speculation map for 
Universal Hollywood in a separate video, so make sure to be watching for that video where we talk about that map as well. I could see this one being another versus. I could too. Honestly, uh, there are several when, that you could honestly think of right off the top for Universal Studios Monsters in Paris. Okay. Uh, top of the list, you have The Hunchback. Yeah. You have The Phantom of the Opera. Yes. You have... Dracula could easily go to Paris. Very it true. can go anywhere. Dracula can go anywhere. Uh, you, you could easily throw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde into this. What about... Dorian uh, Gray. Uh, that's the one I was going to say. The guy that has his portrait covered. Dorian, Dorian Gray. Gray. I, I could go so many different directions with this. I'm really excited to see Monsters this. Paris, it's honestly open for... Whatever. Just about anyone they want to stick in it, except for maybe the mummy. That'd be weird. What about Frankenstein? Or Frankenstein's monster? Sorry. I'd say Frankenstein was a doctor. Doc, what about Dr. Frankenstein's monster? Frankenstein? <laughs> if you're Frankenstein, then I'm Igor. <laughs> Moving along, continuing around, we have what looks like a forest with, like, slash marks. Now, we have had that, a co the Cocaine Bear movie yeah. that came out, so I wonder if this is going to be a house based on that movie. Or if it's going to be some other... Like, werewolf or... Werewolf, Sasquatch. Something. But with, with that movie just being out this year, I can see them going with the house for it. Yeah. So, continuing up is the Exorcist. 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 Ex I can't talk. Exorcist. Thank you. Now, is this going to be off of the movies? Is this going to be off of the TV show? This is off the probably the new film. Probably. And then granted, the old films enough that it would be able to make a house still. <laughs> very, very true. And then on up, it looks like we have like a little village, village with, with a, a church in the gram with a pentagram up top. I don't even know where to go on that. It could Salem. go so... I like it. I like it a lot. Salem Village. Now, we know one of these houses is going to be Blumhouse. Because there's always a Blumhouse Studios house. We just don't know which one it's going to be. Right. So, if you if you are going to guess which one of these was going to be the Blumhouse, which one do you think? I know which one I think. But which one do you think it's going to be? Probably the slashing trees. My guess is the little village with the pentagram. See, I don't know enough about Blumhouse to really know. That's my guess. Let us know in the comments which one you think it's going to be. So It's going to be Chucky. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. So, in the center, it looks like we've got two shows this year. We've got Nightmare Fuel and a Vamp Show, which... Always love a good vamp show. Mm -hmm. Universal does great um, scare zones. And the one time that we have been able to attend, we loved Vamp 85. Yeah. It was awesome. We spent a lot of time there. Kudos. And the music for this year's vamp is going to really be good, considering it's vamp 69. So you know it's going to have some rockin' music. And the summer of 69, I mean, you got Woodstock. You're talking the highlight of... I, that era of music. I know. know, right? And sadly, we are not going to be able to go this year, but you know... We're going to definitely be watching everything we, we can find. 100% we are going to be watching every video we can find on it, and definitely we'll probably give you our thoughts. We know that we'll be able to catch some of um, the houses for like media previews of uh, different vloggers, and we'll give you our thoughts on what we think the houses are like. Mm-hmm. So, up, going up, well, next to Vamp, we've got the Carnival of Oddities Horde, which sounds just so cool. Yeah. Then, sounds like me. Yeah. A Carnival of Oddities. Then we have a scarecrow zone called the Jungle, which is quite interesting. Now, they could do so much with that. And then next to that, we have Megan, which has been a Another doll. Yes, which is another Lots doll um, horde. So my guess is it's going to be kind of like a couple years ago when in the um, Chucky scare zone, um, where they had like all of the toys that have come to life. I could see them reusing some of that for this horde, this area. 
upcoming up around, we have already talked about Nightmare Fuel. Up in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they will have Death Eaters out, which is the only time that they have Death, the Death Eaters are out is during HHN. There, if you're if you are going to HHN and maybe you need a little bit of a break, maybe you are taking kids, but Universal does say that it is for 13 and older, so please take note of that. There is blood, there's gore, there is stuff that terrifies some adults, so please just keep that in mind. Even if your kid goes, oh yeah, mom will be fine, they may not be fine. Don't be the, that family that causes them to have to shut down a house to pull your kid out because they are screaming. We've experienced that. Um, Wizarding World is a great place to take a breather, so remember that kind of coming back beside it there's just it's got like little horns it looks like ram horns it does it looks like ram horns so that is kind of in where san fran yeah that's in the san fran area so that'll be interesting to see what that scare zone ends up like and over by the in mummy new york is egyptian hieroglyphics i love the mummy so i am super it says emotep will eat your toilet paper Toilet paper is a good snack, okay? <laughs> you must have came back from the desert with a new friend. Maybe. Um, I did. The location of the Vamp Sixty Nine is a little different though, because typically the year that we went, at least, Vamp the Vamp, Vamp Eighty Five was in New York. It was in New York, but, but it was also for the ball drop. So right. So it this was. This time it's in Hollywood. Yep. So it's where uh, Chucky was that year. So, very excited to see what all comes out from it. And then, of course, there will be more speculation maps coming. But HHN starts in, like, a little over a month. And we only have two confirmed houses. Yeah. So, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, they didn't used to confirm them all until August. So, maybe we're going to, maybe they're going back to some of that, you know, 90s, 2000s style of, Hey, we're going to release them all at once. We, you know, we're not going to release them right away. But Catch-22 is people don't buy tickets because they buy tickets based on the house. So, let us know. When what are you most excited about as far as the houses of what we'll get to see from online? Okay, I am excited to see the Universal Studios Monsters Paris. Well, yeah. And I am really intrigued to see what the castle with the flying dragon house is. I am, I'm thinking that it's going to be another Scary Tales. Because there's so much that they can do with fairy tales in a haunted house. What about you? I'm honestly looking forward to Universal Monsters, obviously. Obviously. The Slashing Trees, if that's one that actually happens. Okay. The Exorcist, if that's one that happens. Okay. And the village up there. You know, you've got a couple that you're really excited to see yeah. what they are. So, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. These other ones, I could. A Stranger Things, I've never gotten into it. We never have really watched Stranger Things. I know, don't gasp. <laughs> we really haven't got into Stranger Things. Don't worry, I didn't watch uh, anything else that was big either, like Winter is Coming, whatever, the Game of Thrones. Yeah, we didn't watch Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You know, these big series that everyone is crazy about, yeah, we, we tend to avoid them. We do. Sorry. <laughs> but again, thank you to Horror Night Nightmares for allowing us to use your photos in our video, and make sure to go check out their Facebook page. We'll link it in the description below. Check them out to see when that next speculation map becomes available. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.